hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a panel petticoat for a ball gown that I'm trying to do and um, this tutorial was inspired by another youtuber called Danielle to boys um, so I'm not really happy with the turnout of this but this was a tester and in this video I'm gonna show you how to do it so without wasting time let's get right into it first thing we're gonna do is make the skirt pattern um, so as you can see here I measured my waist and then I'm now dividing I divided it by four sorry and then that's the measurement that I am doing all around to create like a half circle because the front portion of this paper is going to be cut on fold so it's going to make the full front section so as you can see here I'm just going along to smooth out that circle with my curved ruler and to make sure that it's um, a nice you know roundness to it what you also want to do from here is just to measure out on one centimeter seam allowance from that line and then just draw it in um, I didn't like show it all the way here because I had already measured my one centimeter seam allowance so I'm just going in to smooth that out as well so that it's one smoothed um, section and or portion of the pattern over there and then at the end of it all you should have the first part of your pattern done um, the mathematics here is going to be a lot but it's going to be worth it this is how it should look this far with your waist and then your seam allowance we're going to measure out how long you want your petticoat to be um, I wanted mine to be 42 inches long so I measured it out 42 and a half inches from the waist down and then you're gonna do that all the way around the reason why I added the half inch is for seam allowance purposes it's always good to just add it in the length measurement so you don't have to measure the length and then have to add the seam allowance at the hem again so from your waist down measure out how long you want it to be and then once you have done that you're going to curve it out with your curved ruler to make sure that it's nice and curvy at the bottom I must say you guys it is so hard doing this on the bed but at the same time my table is not small but it has so much going on on it I just had to work on my bed because it just it was spacious there was nothing on it and I could work but I must say putting down a pencil on paper on this is hard but I did it So now you're going to measure the hem part of your uh, skirt and then multiply it by two because you're going to cut it on fold for a full front. And then from there you're going to divide it by the many panels you want. In my case I want three panels so I'm going to measure and divide it by three. Here you're just going to take your measurement and from the side seam not the part where you cut on fold the side seam you're going to measure on the hem and put down the measurement you have calculated um, and then you're also going to take the waist and you're going to measure the waist and you're going to divide it by three as well So from here, I added my one centimeter seam allowances. I connected my point from my waist measurement down to my hem measurement, and I added the seam allowance there, and now I'm ready to cut. A 
after all those calculations and drafting you will have two panels the first panel will be your cut on fold pattern um, this panel you'll cut on fold for the front and you will cut two pieces for the back that's not going to be on fold and then the larger panel is your side panels and you will only need two pieces of this So once you've cut out your pattern pieces on the fabric, in my case it's the netting mesh, you're just going to measure down for each panel where you're going to put your boning. Mine, I've placed it 9 inches from the top for the first panel and then from there I did 12 inches down and 12 inches down for the third one and this is what you should get at the end of it all um, it should be looking this curvy and delicious <laughs> but um, this is what you should be getting after you have sewn the boning on the mesh once you've sewn all your panels with boning, you should have lots and lots of panels um, like this. And now we're going to sew them together. And since this is a tester, I'm just going to do a normal straight stitch. With all the panels added together, eventually this is what you should get. Um, I also added horse hair at the bottom or tried to add horse hair but it still didn't give me the structure that I needed for those circles to be continued at the bottom as well so I decided maybe I should put more boning on there. I like the outcome of the petticoat. It came out the way that I wanted it to come out. Um, however, when I tested it out and put a dress over it, um, the netting mesh was not strong enough to hold it together because I can have the boning but if the fabric doesn't work together with the boning it won't work. So I think I'm going to make this video as part one and I'll continue part two where I try with a different more structured fabric and we'll see how that turns out. But this is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I hope that it helped some of you. Please watch out for part two of this video where we would have the modified petticoat with more stable fabric um, and a different um, fabric from this netting mesh and we'll see how that works out. Also, don't forget to stalk me. All of our Instagram and Facebook details are on the screen. So do um, follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook um, to keep posted on upcoming videos. Otherwise, see you guys on the next video.